preacher could not defeat the devil by himself. It is Michael that said to the devil when they contend for the body of Moses, he says, The Lord rebuke you. And Satan had to let Moses go. I come to tell you, if Michael got to hide behind God, you better do the same thing. You got to hide behind God and tell the devil, I'm wrapped up, tied up in the word of God. I'm so that when you come my way, I'm going to tell you what God said. When I'm broke, I'm going to say you shall supply all my needs according to your riches and glory. When I'm down and out, I can lift up my head only gates. Somebody say I got the word. I'm a walking word, talking word. Somebody shout the word. Y'all sit down here. I'm the only one working right now. This is power here. Elijah said, come to me. Comes to him, church. And he brings the whistles and the bells. Shows up to his door with chariots and horses. And surely he had to have the stuff with him. Show up to Elijah's door. Knock on the door. And Elijah don't even go out to meet him. He sends a messenger and tells him to go dip seven times and thou flesh shall come again to thee and thou shalt be clean. And verse 11 says, and Naaman, and Naaman was mad. How dare you? I got the power to kill your whole house and nobody can do nothing about it. I'm the general. I got the power to rip you apart. How, how dare you not come out and meet me? Do you know who I am? I want to tell every child of God, somebody say, learn from Elisha. It teaches you that even though you're powerful, what's more powerful than you is God's word. Sometimes we need to get out the way and let God's word speak for us. I don't have to answer the door because when I speak God's word, you don't have to see me. It's the message that's coming to you. Sometimes we are too much in the way with our flesh. We're too much in the way with our charismatic gifts. We need to let God's word go before us. That's why you don't even get addicted to the preacher. You get addicted to the anointing that's coming out the preacher. Because if the preacher falls, you can still stand on God. You're not preaching here today, y'all. Some of y'all upset with the preacher because he didn't allow you to do certain things. And you sit here when he preach, folding your hands and looking up at the chandeliers. You need to get past your flesh because you have to separate the man from the message. So I say, how you do that? Well, let me tell you what my old wife said. Now, I'm going to be real with y'all because some of y'all never had an argument. So I'm going to talk to them to this right now. I'm going to talk to the balloon because if I talk to you, you're not going to tell the truth. Me and my wife got in an argument. And when we got in that argument, I thought to myself that I should be preaching because I feel so bad. You know, they say you clean everything up before you talk. And, and sometimes, sometimes they won't tell you in school how the minister will conflict. It, it's easy to preach when you think everybody got it together. But most preachers I know, there's something in them that fight it. Oh, y'all I think it's not true. If you as laity fight with demons, how much more the people that's in the front? You think he's sending you small demons. The devil always want the head. Because if I can get the head, I got the tail. So don't you ever think you want to pray for your leaders. Stop talking bad about them. On social media, you need to cover them how they cover you. You walk in the office, they not come to you, marry you, they lay hands on you. And soon as you don't like something, I'm gonna go to a real man of God. Let me help you with that. The only way you think somebody else is a real man of one of a woman of God, because you don't know him. You don't hang around him. You respect the main way in California. Surely you can say they got it all together. But ask somebody close to them. They know them better than you do. So it ain't about the man. It's about the anointing of God. Now, y'all don't play with me. 
me to day church. My God, my wife told me I respect her to this day. She said, when you preach, we leave it out the house. God had a disagreement. She could have sat on the front row with her attitude and show the rest of the church. Y'all listen to him. I don't listen to him. And surely they'll follow. She said, listen, listen, Keith. She didn't say Pastor Keith. She said, listen, Keith. She said, I'm going to tell you something. I know when it's you talking and it's God talking. Yeah! I'm going to forfeit what God is saying through you. Because I'm mad at you when God is working on you. When God starts speaking, everything else got to go on the back burner. Because I need a word from God. You got to learn like Elijah. Let the word go forth and stay in the back room. Tell somebody and say, let the word go forth. Truth 